let's just go ahead and hop right up into this, okay? Because especially in today's time, what we are starting to see is so many women have an issue with men not giving them the quote unquote attention and validation that they need, right? See, in the past, a lot of men would be fixated on how to get a woman, how to please a woman, how to get a woman to act right, all of that. Everything always reverted right back into, you know, how a man could uh, appease a woman. And I believe that that caused a lot of us to be spoiled and to truly believe in that a man is supposed to dedicate all of his time, his energy, his focus, his money, okay, on us, which is why we started to adopt the mentality of I am the prize. But what we have been seeing, especially in today's time, right, is a lot of men take their focus back and place it uh, onto things that will bring them value, things that will bring them peace, things that will bring them money, uh, stability, security, freedom. And sorry, ladies, but that does not uh, require them to give much focus onto you. We have a brother, right? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. We have a brother that pretty much broke down and summed up why a lot of men are ignoring women today. And I get it, ladies. Um, we grew up with certain um, ideas, perspectives being implanted and ingrained into us as far as, oh, a man is supposed to dedicate his whole life into pleasing me and making me happy. And a man is supposed to worship me and bow down to me and place me at the center of his whole entire existence, his whole universe. And so when we have men that are like, no, that's actually not that wise. And it actually sets me back when I do that. It really can ruffle a lot of our feathers, which is why we have so many uh, women today that are just so upset um, that really feel like men today are selfish and men today uh, are not men at all. You know, we heard it all. It's so many insults regarding and revolving around how men are pretty much decentering women. Whoopsie. Let's go there for a second before we get into this uh, clip, because I think it's so funny and so crazy and a little bit ironic how. Uh, a lot of our movements that we are adopting and uh, getting into today, those movements are actually being, I don't know, overpowered, if you will, and dominated by men. So, for example, when we say that we are de decentering men and we're going to now just focus on ourselves and we're not going to place so much stock into you know, what makes a man happy and how to get into a relationship and all of that. In most instances, when it comes to women, I'm just being honest, it's a lot of bluff, a lot of bluff and fluff. We're just saying things that make us feel better. It's a lot of coping mechanisms going on. Whereas men are taking those same approaches and flipping it in reverse when it comes to women. And they're actually doing it, right? See, we're, we're talking about it, but men are actually putting these things into practice. They're putting everything that we said that we would do as women, and they're putting it into practice, into motion. And I believe it's causing a lot of us to be extremely salty about it. Because it's like, hold on. How are y'all pulling the us on us and y'all are doing it better than us? Y'all notice that? Y'all notice the men are putting themselves first and they're doing it bigger and better and greater than us? 
I'm starting to see a lot of men um, be in their luxury lifestyle bag. And again, they're doing it way better than us women. It's like they're stealing everything from us and putting their own little twist on it and it's making a lot of us angry. But I digress. Anyway, a lot of us have been uh, in shambles. I'm just going to be honest. A lot of us women have been in shambles regarding men just pretty much decentering us, not giving us too much play, not again being overly consumed with us and what makes us happy and what we want. And this brother here is going to pretty much break down why that is. And what he says, you all, is very profound. Okay. It, it is simple, yet it is so profound. And I feel like it really does uh, bring a lot of clarity to what's at play here. Again, ladies, I'm not saying that men don't care about us and, you know, they don't value us or they don't see the need for us like they do. But um, just being honest and being real, a lot of guys, by taking a step back from being overly consumed with a woman and a relationship and love and, you know, ex, y'all know what that is, okay? The hanky panky. They are noticing that their lives are tremendously improving. And so by them saying, okay, let me think with my mind and not with that behind, okay? Because that behind is causing me to be behind in life. Um, yeah, maybe this is the new approach. Maybe this is the best route for us to take. Because again, when we place women in the center and in the forefront, they ultimately were a distraction, okay? And since we are in shambles and it is causing a lot of us to uh, question everything, you know, and ask these men outright, like what's going on, this brother breaks it down so brilliantly, simply, and beautifully for us to really understand what's going on. And I can't do anything but salute this brother, okay? And I'm pretty sure a lot of, of men will agree with what he is saying. But let's go ahead and get into it. Again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And let's hear what this brother has to say as far as why men are ignoring women. Because women, we do have questions. Again, y'all are shooketh, baby. Y'all are so shooketh by this new breed of men coming through. Y'all have no choice but to go to the men now and ask them, what's going on? How can we fix it? What can we do differently? Please help. See, I used to go to these other uh, hyenas, right? Uh, uh, y'all used to go to these other real women, these strong, independent boss chicks. Y'all used to go to them for advice. It's getting so bad now that y'all like, look, let's go to the source. And the source are the men. And I'm proud about it. Let him break it down. Why do men ignore women, right? I get this question all the time from a lot of women, like, believe it or not, in my DMs, okay? Saying, you know, why are men ignoring women nowadays? Why are men not approaching? Why are men not putting on the pressure, applying the pressure, this and that, right? Listen, here's the truth, ladies. <laughs> it's not that men are ignoring you. It's a lot more simple than that. It is more so that men are just busy. Men are a lot more busy nowadays. Men are focused on their purpose. They focus on their mission in life, okay? Um, men are different than women, all right? A lot of men don't really care for a lot of validation and attention or needing to be under a woman's arm, this and that. Like, nor would y'all want that anyways. Bad. Most women want a dude who's on his purpose, not, not all over them, and is focused on themselves. A lot of men find solace and they find peace in going for their mission in life. As a man, you have to build. And a lot of times men want to do that. They find peace and happiness in doing that, right? Rather than just chasing after women all over the place. You know what I mean? Or chasing after somebody when they could just be focused on their mission. They're busy, you know, starting a business they busy going to the gym they busy 
fixing their own meals. They're busy traveling. Some of them are busy fit, visiting family. They're doing like everything that y'all do. You know what I mean? But it's as simple as they're focused on living their life. Okay. So you as a woman, get some hobbies for yourself. Stop waiting hand and foot for a dude to approach you and give you attention because they're busy focusing on what they got to focus on. Oh, like I said, y'all, he broke it down to a crumb. He gave it to a straight no chaser. And I, I loved it. I loved every part of it because this is what the majority of the men today are on. It's not like they're deliberately trying to ignore us and trying to make us feel bad about. No, men today are just focused on their purpose. And I love that he said that they're on their grind. What else did he say? He said that we're doing the same things that y'all are doing. And that alluded back to what I said earlier. A lot of these men are doing the things that we claim that we're now doing as women to take our power back and all of that. And they're doing it better than us. See, it's one thing to talk about it and be emotional about it to gain a response versus actually doing these things because it genuinely brings you peace. He said that as well. It genuinely brings you some sense of happiness and, and purpose and fulfillment. And that's what we're seeing with men today. See, a lot of the women, let, let me go here. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. A lot of the times when it comes to us women, just being honest, we are doing things to get a reaction out of men and not because we genuinely find value in it. Whereas men are doing these things because it genuinely brings them peace, purpose, passion, right? But when we say we are decentering men, that is too. And let's be, let's be real, you all. Let's stop the cap. When we say that we are decentering men, it is not so that we can self-improve and we can focus on ourselves and find our own fulfillment and peace and happiness. It is because... We're, we're mad, we're upset, we're angry, and we're trying to get our lick back at the men by saying, nanny, nanny, boo-boo, I don't want you. Whereas men are like, no, I, I have no malice. I have no ill intentions. I'm genuinely doing these things because I'm noticing improvement in my life. I'm noticing that my bank account is getting larger, baby. I'm noticing that I'm more at peace. I'm noticing that I am more fulfilled. I'm noticing all of these different things. That's why I'm doing it. So no, ladies, I'm not deliberately and maliciously trying to ignore you. I'm just simply focusing on myself because I see that that is bringing me great results. What, what else did he say? He said that we're you know, doing everything for ourselves. We're not trying to rely on y'all to fulfill us and y'all should do the same thing. Again, he broke it down. Let, let's play it again, you all, because I know it's some people that just came in. Let's play it again and, and break it down bit by bit because th this was nothing but pure jewels and gems. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Why do men ignore women, right? I get this question all the time from a lot of women, like, believe it or not, in my DMs, okay? Saying, you know, why are men ignoring women nowadays? Why are men not approaching? Why are men not putting on the pressure, applying the pressure? This and, and best believe the reason why he is getting these questions from women is because we've noticed the difference. We've noticed how men have switched up. It's a whole new energy out here. We're not being pursued like that. We're not being chased like that. And so it is alarming for us. It's like, hold on, like, what's, what's the scoop? And he's breaking it down for y'all. And I really do hope that a lot of women internalize this message. It, it's pure gems and jewels. Listen that, right? Listen, here's the truth, ladies. <laughs> it's not that men are ignoring you. It's a lot more simple than that. It is more so that men are just busy. Men are a lot more busy nowadays. Men are a lot more busy nowadays. I'm getting to the bag. Didn't y'all ask for this? Y'all ask for men to be builders. Y'all ask for men to go out here and get the money, be productive. Y'all ask for men to be high value, right? So that requires them to put in work. 
that requires them to put you to the side, man. Because again, what I say earlier, that's a distraction. Men have noticed that when I place peach, okay, above my purpose, it gets in my way and it uh, hinders me from progression. So again, ladies, we're, we're asking for these men to evolve, to grow, to be self-sufficient, to be providers and protectors, leaders and teachers. Well, that requires them to kind of ignore you so that they can focus on their business. Let's continue. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Men are focused on their purpose. They focus on their mission in life. Okay. Um, men are different than women. All right. A lot of men don't really care for a lot of validation and attention or needing to be under a woman's arm. Facts. Why? Because men have their value in other things. Men's value comes from their productivity, them being able to be financially secure, being able to provide, right? That they they get their fulfillment from other things. Whereas women, you know, we get our fulfillment from having a man to love us and give us attention and validation in those ways. Men are completely different. So it, it's not like they're ignoring you. It's like, no, I just don't value the same things that you value. You value, you know, your attention and somebody showering you with a bunch of love all the damn time. No, I don't need all that affection stuff. I need to focus on my purpose. Get you some, ma'ams. This and that, like, nor would y'all want that anyways. And yes, this is big facts. Like, share, comment, and subscribe right now. He said, nor would you women want that type of man anyway. Now, how many of y'all, and I'm going to ask y'all right now, put a one in the chat. If you've noticed that when you did your best to go above and beyond for a woman, shower her with a bunch of attention, validation, affection, you made everything revolve around her. Put a one in the chat. If you noticed that when you did that, those women really didn't give you that much play. Put a one. And I bet we see a bunch of ones because... Let's be clear, you all, as much as a lot of these women love to talk, we love a man that is focused on his purpose. We love a man that presents us with a little bit of a challenge. And so when we find a man that is really doing too much, we lose interest because, again, there's no really there's not there's no real challenge there. There's no real room for mystery because i already know what you're gonna do i already know what to expect but men that are like you know what uh i love you i care about you i got you i'm gonna be here for you and everything but i gotta get to this paper though but i gotta focus on my purpose though those men are the ones that we gravitate towards the most and i know y'all have noticed that difference the moment that you stop doing too much as far as being overly affectionate and overly attentive and all of that the moment that you stop doing all these grand things for this woman that she does not let's be honest a lot of the times these women don't deserve it anyway but you're doing that to show and prove to her that you really value her and you really love her and you're different from these other guys i do that we, we know but nonetheless they don't really care about it until you know it's taken away and done in moderation. Everything is all about balance. Nobody wants a man that is overly something. Oh, he's overly affectionate. He's overly attentive. He's overly loving. He's like, they, they can become smothering. So he's absolutely right when he says, look, I'm focused on my, my business. I'm focused on my purpose. You know, I'm focused on self-improvement and development. While you ladies are out here uh, wanting to be showered with love and uh, affection and attention and everything, I'm not, we're not wired that way. And as quiet as kept, if a man was wired that way, y'all wouldn't want him. And again, that's facts. We see those type of men as weak, soft. 
we see those type of men as ones that can be easily manipulated and we get turned off by that. Sure, y'all would take advantage of that type of guy, but do you want him? No. Do you respect him? No. Do you value him? No. And men have peep game on that and they see, oh, I have to move differently. And let me say this, and y'all again, like the video, show the video and subscribe. One of the major takeaways that a lot of men have peep game on is the fact that when you do focus on your purpose and you do focus on self-development and self-improvement and you do build yourself up to a certain status and a certain level, the women will come to you anyway. So why chase them? Why place them in the center of your entire universe when I can place my purpose in the center of my entire universe and get the women anyway? That's working backwards. That's working harder and not smarter. Men peep game on that. Oh, okay. She doesn't really value that type of guy. So let me not be him. Let me be a purposeful guy. Let me get, let me get to the bag. Because I don't care what any woman says. We're all looking for providers and protectors, leaders and teachers, masculine men, quote unquote, high value men. So, yeah, that's why we're seeing a, a difference in these men today to where, no, I'm not going to chase you. I'll chase my purpose and chase my bag and then you'll come to me. Let's continue. Most women want a dude who's on his purpose, not not all over them, and it's focused on themselves. A lot of men find solace and they find peace in going for their mission in life. As a man, you have to build. And a lot of times men want to do that. They find peace and happiness in doing that. And, and a lot of guys have reached that conclusion. Like, damn, I spent all my time trying to please a woman, get a woman, keep a woman. Damn, it feels good to have something that fulfills you, that brings you comfort and peace and happiness. Something that you build and, and, and made for yourself. I, I like that feeling. And they completely engulfed themselves in that. And now you see so many men out here just thriving which is why you see a lot of women out here chasing up behind these men today because they want a piece of it. Hold on. Whoopsie. Let's continue. Right. Rather than just chasing after women all over the place, you know what I mean? Or chasing after somebody when they could just be focused on their mission. They're busy, you know, starting a business. They are busy going to the gym. They are busy fixing their own meals. They're busy Ooh. traveling. Some of them are busy. Ooh, I know he didn't say they busy fixing their own meals and traveling. I know they didn't say that. What does that mean, ladies? That means that the men have found out and figured out they can do a lot of the things that you're supposed to, quote unquote, do for themselves. And also they're exploring different options of women, too. Which is why they are traveling. They're also finding purposes in other places, which is another reason why they're traveling. Oh, my, my money stretches further and longer in this country here. Oh, I get to relax, have some freedom. I said that early when I'm able to travel, think clearly. Men are finding out they are fully capable and able of thriving and surviving without the hassle and headache of dealing with a lot of chicks of today. That's also a layer to the conversation. And I would bet that's what inspired a lot of men to decenter women in the first place. Oh, they're a distraction. They've hindered me from my progress. Let me step back and refocus and regroup. And that's what the men did. And they found that it was way more peaceful. Now, salute and again, shout out to the authentic women out here that uh, know how to bring a man peace, know how to add more value to his life. Salute and shout out to y'all. But the majority of the times what these men are finding out is 
you know, when I'm dealing with a lot of these chicks of today, they don't know how to bring me peace and pleasure, fulfillment. They don't know how to add value onto my life. But guess what I know how to do? I know how to bring value to my own life. And it's better and more peaceful without them. So let me make my own meal if it means that I don't have to have an attitude attached to the person making it. Let me explore different options. Let me explore this world by myself alone if I have to. If that means that I don't have somebody hassling me and hounding me and constantly nagging and complaining. This is what the men are being presented with, which has forced them to have to see what life is like by themselves. And now we are feeling like they're ignoring us when that in all actuality, no, they're just finding peace alone. Finding peace in their purpose. Because again, the majority of the women out here, trash. Let's finish this off and I'm going to wrap it on up. Look, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just being honest. Visiting family. They're doing like everything that y'all do. Ooh. You know what I mean? But it's as simple as they're focused on living their life. Okay. So you as a woman, get some hobbies for yourself. Stop waiting hand and foot for a dude to approach you and give you attention because they're busy focusing on what they got to focus on. Well, y'all wanted to know why the men were ignoring you, quote unquote, and this is why. Fellas, y'all let me know. Do you agree or disagree with this gentleman in this video? Um, I would love to hear you all's feedback and thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Um, and also, you let us know what you are doing as far as helping yourself to evolve and grow and elevate. Um, we would love to hear it. Uh, but y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I'm going to see you all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.